When you take a sip of water, do you ever wonder where it came from? Whose job it is to get it to you? What pipes it passed through? Is it safe to drink? When you go out, do you think of the roads that you're traveling or the tracks that you're on? Who built them? Are they safe? Who has to listen to the vibrations at night? When you order something in the mail, do you ever think of how it got to you? What channels were dug to make way for the ships? What reefs destroyed? When you walk outside, do you readily find a green space to exercise or wish there was one? Is it safe to breathe? For many of us, the infrastructures that treat our water, wastewater, solid waste that get us from one place to another are of a different world. Until something doesn't work or needs a major upgrade as it will disrupt our lives in a significant way. For some of us, we may attend a community meeting, but it's after a project has been conceived and designed. And we may be critical of the engineers and the government that have presented this project, and rightfully so, because we were not invited when the actual problem was even being defined. So as a professor of civil and environmental engineering, I find myself asking a lot of questions about our designs. Many of us are. If all of our lives mattered, how much more sustainable and equitable would our world be today? I do hope that this class inspires you and me to always keep asking questions and to always being open and willing to learn more. Canon 8 of the Code of Ethics of the American Society of Civil Engineers reads, treat all persons fairly. It says, an engineer shall consider the diversity of the community and shall endeavor in good faith to include diverse perspectives in the planning and performance of their professional services. We're at a time in the US where the American Society of Civil Engineers produces an infrastructure report card on infrastructures related to bridges, roads, aviation, transit, wastewater, drinking water, ports, inland waterways, rails, dams and levees, energy, and soon stormwater. The last report card in 2017 sort of said overall, the US has a D plus on infrastructure. And there is a push for investment to make it safer and healthier for all of us, running in the order of trillions of dollars. The National Academy of Engineering says that things like restoring and improving urban infrastructure, major grand challenge. The environmental engineering 21st century grand challenges um, that one of them is to create efficient and healthy cities. So we're sort of at this time when there's opportunity to think of what does that future infrastructure look like? The American Society of Civil Engineers has adopted the Envision Rating System to measure the sustainability of infrastructure projects from design through construction and maintenance. The criteria used by that rating system, they're called credits, but they're categorized into five areas. Quality of life, leadership, resource allocation, natural world, climate, and risk. The goal of this course is to critically address how infrastructure projects can be conceived and designed to make societies more just, sustainable, and equitable. And to achieve this goal, we will focus on the Envision rating system, hear from experts, and connect with potential persons who are interested in or working on sustainable infrastructure. By the end of this course, you'll be able to describe Envision credentialing and the ver verification process critically review Envision credentialing and verification process, explain how Envision helps to meet sustainable development goals, environmental justice, and environmental engineering grant challenges, apply Envision credit guidelines to assess infrastructure projects, reflect on how infrastructure projects engage with local communities and vice versa, and you'll create a LinkedIn page um, and share blog posts on sustainable infrastructure. Each week, we have assigned readings, videos to watch. We may have guest speakers. You are asked before class to send in a reflection based on one, 
based on one or more of those readings or videos or anything that's posted in the requirements for that day. That really helps me to also focus the discussion to ensure that we are meeting your needs as a student also, your context. We will spend quite a bit of time looking at issues related to things like equity, diversity, and inclusion, which link back to that eighth canon for civil engineering. My name is Maya Trotz. I'm a professor of civil and environmental engineering here at the University of South Florida. Really want to say welcome to this class. And again, remember, this is about you and about how you engage with the world around you. We are all learning in this course and we can all ask questions. Don't be afraid to do that and just be willing to learn um, and broaden your perspectives on, on concepts and topics and anything that we discuss. Bring it to the table, share it with everyone, and let's make this a really worthwhile project and semester and course and all of that.